Tony, when you think about the culture and brand being two sides of the same coin and the immediacy of the feedback, which now uh, can impact the brand, what, were, what was the driver when you thought about the culture that you wanted to build and, and the, therefore the brand that you wanted associated with Zappos.com? Um, I guess I didn't initially think of it that way. Initially it was probably more of a selfish thing, just if I'm going to be going into an office every day, like it needs to be around people that I enjoy being around. And so, uh, so, so when I interviewed people, in, in, initially I interviewed every single person that was applying to Zappos, who also did the same thing, had the criteria of, is this someone I would choose to go grab a beer with? And so uh, I, I guess we didn't really think much beyond that. And, and over time, uh, about I know, five or so years into Zappos, we actually rolled out our core values, which served as a formalized definition of our culture. Uh, that was something that we actually didn't always have, and it was one of those things that we, myself personally, resisted in the early days because it felt like one of those big corporate things to do. Um, Mission statement, vision statement, and values, let's put them on the wall and forget yeah. it. Yeah, well, I, I think part of the reason why we felt that way is because a lot of, especially bigger corporations, have these things called values or right. guiding principles and so on, but the problem is usually they're very lofty sounding. They kind of read like a press release the marketing department put out. Maybe you learn about it on day one of orientation, but then, yeah, it becomes this meaningless plaque on the lobby wall. And for us, we wanted to, we didn't want that to happen. We wanted to come up with committable core values. And by committable, meaning we're willing to hire or fire people based on whether they're living up to those values completely independent of their actual job performance. And when you use that criteria, it's actually a really hard list to come up with. Uh, it took us a year to come up with it. And so if you do a Google search for Zappos core values, you can see what our 10 are, and, and so that's really how our culture uh, e evolved, I guess. And it wasn't just a few you know, senior executives spending a long weekend somewhere at an offsite trying to come up with values. I basically sent an email out to the entire company and asked everyone what should our values be. It got a whole bunch of feedback, and, and, then, uh, and then we eventually came up with our 10. They are deliver well through service. Embrace and drive change create fun and a little weirdness. Be adventurous, creative, and open-minded. Pursue growth and learning. Build open and honest relationships with communication. Build positive team and family spirit. Do more with less. Be passionate and determined. And so that's kind of how our core values and culture evolved. If I could do it all over again, I would do it from day one. Um, and so that would be my advice for, for other companies, is really figure out what values you can commit to and by committing to meaning you're willing to hire a fire around them independent of your actual job performance and then align the entire organization around it. I have a lot of favorite core values, but one of my favorites is be passionate and determined.